All right. So today we're making this adorable little house box, treat box, and it opens up like this. See that? And then there's these long tabs, and then you put your candy in there. And I don't have any candy to put in there. So then you just fold those up and they're nice and long just to make it look like the house. And then this goes on there. That's actually the trickiest part is putting that on. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, so this'll be a quick day today because I'm at home and I don't have anything to show you. All right, and I made up instructions so that you'll be able to uh, follow um, and uh, make this cute little treat box. I guess you could make it a little bigger just by um, increasing the sizes. Um, I just made it, this is from the Paper Pixie. I just made it the way she did, all right? Okay, so the piece of paper is six and three eighths by five and a quarter. Now, along the long side here, we're going to score at two and a quarter, three, five and a quarter, and six. And then I'm just gonna rotate it clockwise. And on the short side at the long the top, I'm going to score at four and one eighth and four and seven eighths. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to turn it. Let me just see what I have here. Turn it with the long side at the top. And you're going to score at one and one eighth and four and one eighth, just to the second score line here. So this, there's a score line here, you can see, and then there's a second score line here. So basically in half of this section, so one and one eighth, I'm just going to that score line. And this one is four and one eighth. I'm just going to that score line, all right? And then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna score along the top. So this is my template here. So I am going, I'm just figuring this out here. I am going to score, just let me see here. I don't want to mess it up. All right, I'm missing this section here. I'm just going to score in between these sections. All righty. So I am going to score at four and an eighth and four and seven eighths. So I thought I did that already. I am confused. Okay, just a minute here, guys. Oh, I see what I'm doing. This goes here like that. I've got that done. Okay, four and an eighth. And four, hmm. I'm confused. All right, let's just start again here. Maybe this won't be quick. I've only made this once, so. All righty. So I have this. This is not confusing. I don't know why I'm making it so difficult. So I want to do that and that is here. So now I'm doing this, oh, I see, I'm doing here to here and here to here. There we go, now I got it. And then I'm gonna go here to here 
and here to here. Okay, now I got it. So we're missing this section, these sections in here, okay? All right, I got it. All right, now we're gonna do some other, I'm gonna just fold on these score lines. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to make these diagonals right here. I'm just using this because I don't know what I did to that one. So now I'm going to take my ruler and so this half score line right here to here, I'm just going to draw a line and then I'm going to from that score line to this score line I'm going to draw a line and from this score line to this score line I'm going to draw a line and from this score line to this score line I'm going to draw a line so now you can see the house peaks here okay so then on this one we had these two areas in here that we cut out and you're going to cut all the way down for these tabs. All right, so I'm cutting all the way down for those tabs and then you cut this part out. I'm gonna do this again at the end because surely to goodness I can do it. And then go there and there and there and there. You cut this part out and this part out, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna fold on these score lines. All right, so I've scored on those. Now these diagonal ones, you're gonna score this way. And sorry, fold this way. And then that little part at the top, you're just gonna pinch it, okay? And then it just kind of folds down like that. So here, I'm gonna fold it there, fold it there. And then at this top one, you just kind of pinch it and you can see how it goes down into the roof. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to decorate this. So you're gonna cut two pieces of paper that's two by two. And those are going to be the front of your the front of your house. So I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna put one there. Okay, and then you're going to cut a piece that is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And you're just going to trim that. Oops. You're gonna trim that and cut it in half diagonally. Like that, and that is for the roof of the house. So now you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold at the second fold score line and you're going to put a piece of tape. I'm going to use some sequin tape. And then you just fold at this first score line or just folding it over like that and it meets perfectly. Okay, so now we can close up the bottom so we can fold these sides in like that. Fold that in, fold that in like that. And I think I'm just going to miter these a bit. so they don't 
hangover. And then I'm gonna take some glue. And we'll glue that down. Okay, there we go. Now you can see how it's looking like a house. So now we're just gonna take these side pieces and push them to the side and fold these tabs right over. It just makes it a nice clean look. And then fold these up like that. And then they pinch, see that? So what you're going to do is this part here is gonna go over top of this part. Now, the first try is a little harder, but once the paper, there we go. Once you get the paper fibers broken a little, then it works perfectly. And there's your little house. So to open it, it goes like this. Then you open it up and put your treat in. And then close this big thing down, this big tab down. And then it goes like that. Okay? Obviously, if something's in here, these tabs won't fall in. It's a cute little box. And then it goes like that. All right, and then I have um, this little bunny that I'm just gonna put on here. And I'm gonna put some foam tape on that. I think I took this off something else. So now I have two little Valentine boxes. Okay. And there we go, there's my two little houses. However, I think I should try this again. Following my instructions, so that we know they work. Alrighty. All right. One of those days. All right, you cut the cardstock five and a quarter by six and three eighths. Okay. Here we go again. All right, now it says, I wrote these out. So I wanna make sure they're right for you. Then it says, with the long side along the top, score at two and a quarter, three, five and a quarter, and six. Then you turn it clockwise, and with the short side along the top, you score at three quarters and three. Now, with the short side along the top, you're going to score at four and one eighth, just in the large sections. So here and here. And you're going to score at four and seven eighths, just in these big sections right here and here. All right? And then you're going to turn, and with the long side along the top, you're going to score. So, the long side at the top. 
this way, so I better put that in there. You're going to score at one and one eighth and four and one eighth. Okay? All right, now we're going to do the diagonal score lines. So the diagonal score lines are going to go so where are they going here oh I see they're going in here so this is where I do this I get it okay I was right the first time so I put them there now I do my diagonal score lines. So I'm going to do one this way and one this way and one oops this way and one this way. So these ones were in the wrong spot. So I'll double check that. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna do some cutting. So I am going to cut this section out here. And I'm gonna cut here. And here and here and then I'm going to cut along here and here and these long tabs here Okay, so then it says, I'm just showing you the instructions here. Then it says you cut this out, that tab out, and then we cut this out here, and we cut this out here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to fold on my score lines. Fold on these ones. These are the big long tabs. And this is the bottom. All right. So now we can fold on these diagonals and pinch the top. Hold on this diagonal. And pinch the top. All right, now we can put it together. So you fold on the second score line here. I'll just put some glue. And you fold over like that. And then you create the bottom by folding this in and this one and this one and this one. And then you fold this back, and this back, this in, and this in, and then you pinch, and they automatically go like that. And then this one fits over top. This is the hardest part, getting this to go over, because you have to kind of wiggle it in. And then once it 
is on and it will remember that. And there's our box. Okay. All right. So that's it. So my instructions are right. Okay. All right. So there we go. There's our cute little box. Sorry about that. The confusion. So if you want the instructions and you're on the master list, you will get them. And if you aren't on the master list and want to be, send me your email or put it in the comments. So there we go. Two little cutesy little boxes. I was just going to see what time it is. I'll just see some of the comments here. It is cute, isn't it? I can't read the comments. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Okay. Now, I was... I came down here to clean up, and then I... I was attempting to get a little craft for Brooklyn to do, and I'm just gonna show you it, cause it's kinda cute. You would put another heart on here, but it opens like this. Isn't that cute? For, and it folds up like that. So then you put a ribbon on it and tie a bow, and then in here, she can cut hearts out and then put little I love you or you know do some coloring or something like that but I thought it was a cute little card for kids for kids to make it's very very cute um, and then I thought she could put some ribbon or something here and we'll make another heart or something there I think that's what we'll do but anyways I thought it was pretty cute and it opens like that adorable. Anyways, I thought I'd quickly show you just the basics of it, because if you have kids um, and you want to do a little craft with them virtually, this is a great one to do. But I'll just show you how to do this part, and then you can decorate it yourself. Okay, so what you need is a eight and a half by eight and a half square. Now, Let's hope I remember how to do it since I just did it. <laughs> okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it this way. Now you could score it if you wanted. So you do it that way. And eight and a half. So that's four and a quarter. So then you could do four and a quarter this way. it up you always need grandmas always need kids crafts and mums with young kids always need kids crafts okay and then you take it from point to point and you score it so if on my scoreboard I could just do this and fold it up point to point okay and then I think I do it point to point again across nope. and then you take your sides these sides and these sides go in like this okay so then that's the card for them and I think they can do that all right and then it opens like that so now you have to make your hearts. So what you do is you fold this in half like that. And 
then you just take a pencil I don't have a pencil where's my pencil I don't have one okay so what you do is you take this and you just draw a heart like that. And take your scissors and cut it. So they could just draw a heart and then cut it like that. And then it opens up and it's a heart. See that? Now I would cut this score line right out. There. So there we go. Now if you want it more rounded, you can just round it more. Like that. There. So then you want to do it on the other sides. So what they would do is they would fold this over like that and then trace that heart and cut it out. I hope Nancy Drad's watching because she can do this with her granddaughters. And Judy, you can do this with um, Haley. And then I'm gonna take this one and fold this one over, and then they would just trace it and cut it out. So I think it's kind of fun for them. So there it is and then it just folds in like this and like that and then you decorate it I think it's cute so there you go and there's a little craft for your grandkids or kids and then you just decorate it up all right and I think I would put a ribbon or something to hold it together all right. Okay. So that's that. All right. So there's the instructions. There's our cute little boxes.